Howell, a women's health and orthopedic physical therapist. Today we're going to be going over C-section scar mobilization with exercise. Since we started this core program, I feel like for the first time after my C-sections, I'm completely connected to my core. This area is starting to feel awake. So this is one of the first initial workouts that you'll see in the guide for the C-section core. So what this looks like is first we're going to start doing C-section scar mobilization, which you would think is by the scar, but it's not always. So we're going to start away from the scar, working towards the scar, and then we're going to do exercises that will really get this area going. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to lay on my back. You can use lotion. You don't have to, but I like to do this technique called clearing the canvas. During this technique, I'm just kind of becoming familiar with my tummy and where there are trigger points. So trigger points usually will feel sore or tender. We want to map these out and see where they are on our stomach. So I have one here to the right of my belly button. I have one here to the upper left of my belly button. I have another one up at the top by my rib cage area. and I have one here off to the side. So now that I have them kind of mapped out, I call it clearing the canvas, but I'm just gonna start moving my belly around. There doesn't have to be a very specific direction or order for this. I'm just starting to loosen up and make the tissue more pliable. At first, I think it feels really weird to massage your abdominals. Like when you go for a massage, very rarely is the massage therapist massaging your abdominals. But I really do think this is a highly undertreated muscle, muscle group and that every postpartum woman, especially C-section mommies, need to have a set of hands on their abdominal wall. I love being able to teach you guys how to move your own abdominal wall so that you have some power, control over it. I also know that this is a very busy season of life, so you might not be able to make it into a physical therapist or they might not have the skill set to do this. So it's really powerful to be able to take your C-section scar and your abdominal health into your own hands. Okay, and then now that I know the areas that are tender, I'm gonna go back and be a little bit more specific. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find this top area that was tender, I'm gonna move it down and up. Down is more restricted, so I'm gonna hold it that direction. I'm gonna move left and right Oh, they're both bad, but right is more. And then I'm gonna twist it clockwise and counterclockwise. Clockwise is worse, so I'm gonna hold it. I like to hold that tender point, and it is really tender when I'm holding it right now. And then I'm gonna to start to breathe. And exhale. And exhale. So I'm using my breath to let my body know it is okay to let this area go. I'm trying to calm this area down and it is becoming less tender. To make it way less tender, I'm gonna keep moving into the restriction. So I'm actually gonna make it a little bit more sore. I can try driving my knee side to side. That does tense it up quite a bit. If that movement doesn't do that though, you could try arching your upper back or moving your legs straight. So side to side is really tense for me. So I'm gonna do that a few times to get this area to fully release. Okay, then it really starts to feel so soft. And even after doing this for 10 years, I'm like, dang, she gone. So the next area that I found was by my belly button right to the right. So again, I'm gonna move up and down. Again, down is more sore, left to right. Right is way more sore. I'm gonna twist clockwise and counterclockwise. Clockwise again. So again, I'm gonna breathe first. I'm gonna pull into the restriction, so moving more clockwise as it starts to loosen. I'm gonna take up that slack. And just so you know too, people get nervous about doing this but we're treating the muscle and of course you're probably affecting the abdominals and the like viscera and everything below, but our viscera is meant to be squishy. So it's okay to like press into your belly, 
So I'm gonna hold that until that sucker releases. It released really easy without having me to having me do like leg straightening, like side to side. So I'm gonna move on to my next area of attention that's needed. So this was to the left and a little bit up. Your areas might be completely different, but I'm gonna work on mine. You can target the ones that are sore on you. I'm gonna go up, down, and then I'm gonna go left, right, and then I'm gonna twist clockwise, counterclockwise. This one, counterclockwise is way worse. So then I'm gonna breathe first. You might feel tension in other areas of your body. Like as I breathe, I feel a lot of tension in my right hip. And obviously I'm not even close to my right hip, but just knowing that our fascial tissue is like a big inner web. It goes over all of our organs, our muscles. So we're affecting so much more than this tiny little area we're touching here. And again, this side released pretty easy without me having to do any body motion, but I'm gonna do just a little bit to help it free up all the way. Okay, then I'm going to go over to the side here that was sore. And again, this one it might be a little bit harder to move up, down, left, right, clockwise, counterclockwise, but I'm gonna do my best. And then with this one, I'm gonna try lengthening out that tissue underneath. I can tell this one will be more stubborn, so I'm gonna go right into those movement things. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back one more time. So we're still in this clearing the canvas stage. So that might take a while. And it, if we do that section better, it's going to make the other ones way, way easier. I'm just running my hands down the entire length of this rectus side. Again, anything that just feels like a little bit sticky still. He gets a little bit more attention. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is clear out my upper abdominals. So if you think about the top fourth of your abdominals, like as they kind of attach into your rib cage, especially the six pack or center muscle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this down so that I have something to hold on to because I put so much lotion on, but I'm gonna roll towards this side and I'm gonna grab the edge of my abdominal wall. Now I'm gonna bring this butt cheek back down to the floor and then I'm gonna bring my leg open like a beautiful butterfly in springtime. I'm breathing. So I'm gonna roll this way. I'm gonna take my hand, grip the abs, pull them and tense them into that restriction. Then I'm gonna put my butt down, ribs down, open up like a butterfly. And I'm gonna do that a few times. So roll, tighten that restriction, butt down, ribs down, open up. I'm gonna do it on the other side. The other side doesn't seem to be as bad. So again, I'm gonna roll this way. I'm gonna hold that restriction, right here's an even better one. And then I'm gonna put my bottom down, ribs down, open up like a butterfly. And like I said, I did such a good job clearing the canvas in the first one. This one's really easy to do. I'm gonna go back and last time on this side, but I'm gonna roll to my side, tense it up, butt down, ribs down, open that guy up. There's barely anything here because I've done such a good job. Okay, so I am now going to go on to the C-section scar itself. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my restriction points again. So again, I'm going to lock them up, up, down, left, right. So this one, I'm gonna go up and hold it nice and tight here. And then I'm gonna bring my knees side to side here. Often these ones, I feel like I'm really pressing down and into the C-section scar itself. Okay. 
lately I've been working on this, so I don't feel this now, but every once in a while, you'll feel like your back actually cracking because everything's so tight around there, it'll be like and it, cracking is fine as long as it's not painful. That also means that that area just hasn't moved in that direction in a while. So this is really good because we're starting to get it to move in that direction. So as you're watching these videos too, if you feel like restriction in a certain area and your body like comes to wants to naturally move in one direction or another, you don't always have to follow exactly what I'm doing because your restrictions and your abdominal wall might look different than mine. Okay, so lastly for the scar tissue mobilization, I am going to hold my scar. I'm gonna pull it superior up towards my head and then I'm gonna do a pelvic clock. So I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna pull that superior and then I'm gonna arch my back. Arch my back. Arch my back, get this moving. I'm gonna pull down and up from the scar. Arch my back. 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 So the scar tissue mobilization and all of the exercises you can find in the Expecting and Empowered app itself. It has so many more besides these ones that we're going over today. This one's really focusing on getting our upper back moving, which is an essential part to take tension off of the scar itself. But other ones focus on pelvic mobility, or um, abdominal strengthening or diagonal abdominal strengthening. Some of them focus on getting the obliques to let go because those do connect into the six pack muscle itself so they can create pulling or tension or DR. Okay, so let's check out what this looks like before and after doing the scar tissue mobilization and then we'll move right into the exercises. This may look a little ridiculous, but we do have parts of the uterus that go down and go across our pubic bone or that pubic mound. So I'm gonna take a foam roller, I'm gonna lay on it. The front of my pelvis should be on the foam roller. Usually one side is more sore than the other, left or right. This area is very sensitive, so we don't need to do a lot of rolling back and forth, but once I find a sensitive area, so it's pretty sensitive right there, I can just stop and breathe. Inhale, exhale. I can also lift up here to try to create space between the anchor points of my pubic bone and then my muscles on my abdominal wall stretching out. And then I can come back, find another sore spot, lift up again. I can do a light abdominal contraction, squeezing my abdominal wall in. You might feel a little tugging or pulling on the C-section scar. Remember, at any time when we're doing these scar tissue mobilizations, if that area feels tender, it probably should feel tender a little bit because we're starting to get that scar moving. So once we're starting to break down that tissue, it will feel tender. I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna roll across that pubic mound a little bit. I can dip my shoulder side to side to tense up the areas. I'm gonna go where I'm sore. I'm gonna hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. I'm gonna hold that and I'm gonna lift one side of my leg, just starting to move this area. I'm gonna keep that sore spot there and lift the other side of my leg. Okay, we're gonna come off of these foam rollers. I'm gonna work on side lying breathing. So first, I'm gonna get some mobility in there. I'm gonna take a pillow, a rolled up towel, and I'm gonna come up and overhead and around, making a big, big rainbow here. I'm gonna come up, make a nice, big, big rainbow, trying to get my thoracic spine moving. This area gets so stuck on postpartum women, especially females. 
when we're thinking about the effects of the c-section scar it can really get this area restricted because our c-section scar affects our rectus abdominis which attaches up in this rib cage so we really want this area to get moving and dude what mom is not in flexion all the time on your phone carrying your baby whether you're bottle or breastfeeding whether you're sitting at a computer during the day for work whether you're cleaning, we're in flexion all the time. So we want to think about creating thoracic rotation and extension moments. So here it is. Okay, let's flip. Let's take this out for one second. We're going to do breathing now. So I want this area to start working. When we breathe, it should be a 360 degree breath. So side to side, front to back. Often one side is really restricted. So now I'm going to inhale in. Fill up the side of my rib cage. I can even like kind of bounce my hand here to like signal my brain like, hey dummy, breath here. Rib cage comes in and down. Think about weaving those ribs back together as you exhale. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Okay, I'm gonna flip towards the other side. I'm gonna put my pillow or towel back down and I'm gonna do my little rainbows on this side. So I'm thinking about opening up this space. Oh, that feels so good. One more, inhale in. Okay, now let's start to work that area. So again, I'm gonna think about putting my hands here. I'm breathing to fill this area up, inhale in. You should see my ribs expand. Exhale out, weave those ribs together as you exhale. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in, exhale out, inhale in, exhale out. Okay, so we're gonna do some exercises now starting to really engage our upper back and our thoracic spine here. To get my lower abdominals firing, I'm going to bring my legs up into this 90-90 position. Then I'm going to tuck my ribs down, lifting my head. I'm going to push my hands into my knees. I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds so that I'm really getting a nice abdominal contraction. You should see your abs flattening at the lower bottom here so that we're really engaging the lower abdominals. This area is hard to start kicking on at first. We're breathing as we're holding this isometric contraction. Breathe again. Four, three, two, one. Then I'm going into my diagonal core. So for this exercise, I like to think of you coming up into an X type of position. So my leg comes a little bit out to the side. My right leg's coming out more to the right. My arms are going up and over towards my left head. And then I'm crunching everything in for eight counts. And then I'm straightening everything. So here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going to the other side, one, two. I like to bring my toes into flexion as well. Everything's coming into that pattern. Halfway, four more. Three, two, and one. Then I'm going into my oblique crunch. So again, I'm using my breath work on all of these, but I'm breathing out, lift my head. One, two, breathe up. Bring my chest to this knee, connecting these two areas. This should burn. Four more. Five, six, 
Here we go, last one. Good, now I'm coming up. So I'm bringing my sternum up into this left knee. My trunk is trying to stay facing that direction. I'm slowly lowering down and control that lowering phase. A lot of times you'll see people just kind of flop onto the back onto their back, slow and controlled so we can get segmental control of this area. Two more. Last one. Okay, and we're gonna come up into a side plank for 15 seconds here. So my head is tucked back. I'm really engaging my shoulder blade or my scapula. One side is usually gonna be more difficult than the other on this exercise. I'm gonna switch sides. And again, head back. I'm really engaging my shoulder blade. I'm keeping my ribs and hips stacked here. Hold for 10 more. Okay, last exercise, one leg drop. So I'm gonna lay on my back and then I'm gonna bring both legs up. I'm gonna straighten one leg and then I'm gonna drop this guy eight times. One, keeping my abdominals controlled and contract it as I do this. Three, five more to go. Last one, switch sides, straighten this leg. My lower abdominals engage and pull this back on. I wanna to try to see if I can keep my belly flat as I do this. Only bring it down as low as you can control that. We don't want to see a lot of movement in the pelvis. This side, I'm going to just tighten up the range because it's harder for me to control. Three more. Two more. Last one here. Nice. If you guys aren't taking the time to do all of these exercises for your C-section, it's really hard to engage this area without doing the scar mobilization and then the right core exercises. So definitely follow us for more tips and tricks about recovering from a C-section.